this video we are going to be talking about if having the most expensive gear and we're talking about monitors we're talking about desktops we're talking about laptops does it make you a better developer or is it just a big flex let's get into it you want me to lock it down but i told her to pass the key you gotta slow it down girl you moving too fast for me nobody did it like this so they wonder they asking me if i can slow it down because it's coming too fast for me i came up from the bottom now look at me now they mad at me all right guys this is your boy joe back at it again codingphase.com guys make sure you subscribe make sure you hit the notification bell show some love if you really like this type of content so let's just get into it guys all right so you want to know do you need to have a super expensive setup i mean we've seen all of those videos online you know desktop setup productivity setup right uh, amazing freaking modern desktop or this this and that like you know i have a, a 300 inch screen <laughs> monitor for that wraps around my whole body <laughs> do you really need that right or is it just a big flex Okay, let's just get into it. Let's talk about it, right? And I'm just gonna give you guys my honest opinion. What do I think? It's a flex, right? It's really a flex because everybody knows that you can go and find a Dell laptop from 2006, right? Put in Linux and you can write your code. Everybody knows that, right? That's all you really need, okay? When it really comes down to it. Now let's talk about what type of gears we actually use as developers. So we're gonna start with the first thing, which is gonna be keyboards, right? Now keyboards are a tool that we need to use as developers because all we do is really write code all day, right? And it's very important for us to have a comfortable keyboard. So spending maybe a hundred, two hundred dollars on a keyboard. You know, it may be 250, it makes sense if it has some really good ergonomics, it's gonna be comfortable for you in long term, then yes, that makes sense. But I've seen situations where people flex on keyboards that are over a thousand dollars. Okay, I know some people will be like, man, I need a mechanical keyboard made by hand that was created in Tokyo and they cut down 25 different bamboos to make the bamboo keys. Like now you're just flexing for no reason. Do you really need a thousand dollar bamboo keyboard? No, you don't, okay? You really don't need one, all right? So let's move on to the next one that I've seen that people just flex on. And we're talking about screens. I've seen situations where guys have about six different screens on their desk, even at the job. Like, they'll go and ask for it. Like, I've seen this done. They'll be like, I need six different screens, okay? And it's like one of the craziest things that I've seen that a company actually approves of uh, because you just don't need six screens. I've seen guys that have a mobile version right here, a freaking tablet version right here, a desktop version right here, an extra large desktop right here, and then they have their code. So then they're just constantly going like this all day, going up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down all day, right? And all they're really doing is just hurting their neck. Same thing that I've seen when people come in and be like, well, I'm going to get a vertical screen, right? And I'm going to have my <laughs> ultra wide screen in a vertical form, right? One regular desktop size screen. And then I'm going to have this ultra wide screen vertically. And they're constantly going from all the way from the top, all the way to the bottom coding, just like that. It makes no sense. So what does make sense is having two screens. One screen where you actually go and have your code here and another screen where you actually see the preview. Now, there's times you might want to get an ultra wide screen TV or an ultra wide screen monitor where you will have is basically two screens but put into one. Like that makes sense. Now, something that I've seen online too is getting the ultra wide. I've seen, I think it's a LG or Samsung where it takes the whole desk. Like you have a 60 inch desk and then this screen just wraps around you like, <laughs> like your whole vision. Now that might look cool, but it's not needed at all. That's not gonna improve your productivity. That's not gonna make you a better developer. That's really not going to do much for you. Those screens were really made for video editors. 
If you guys don't believe me, go look it up, right? And a lot of those screens are good for gaming, especially for, you know, racing games and, and things like that or simulators. It makes sense. But when you're coding, you don't want to be going like this to look at your screen, then go all the way around and come and then, oh yeah, I have some other stuff here. It's like four or five screens into one. That don't make sense. You're actually hurting your neck. Okay, so that's just a flex. That's not gonna make you a better developer at all. Now let's talk about tablets, right? Do you need a tablet? Do you not need a tablet? I will say yes, every developer should have a tablet, especially if you are a web developer, because you wanna test out how it looks, how it feels when you go to your website on a tablet. Like yes, you could look at it on something like a screen and you can minimize your screen to a certain size, but at some point you want to go and test it out. Same way how you spin up your website on your phone. You go like, hey, lilbilly.com and you want to see how people are looking at uh, your website through their phone. Sometimes you might want to have to do the same thing for a tablet. It's always good to have. Do you need a iPad Pro? No, you don't. Do you need to spend $1,200, $1,300 on a tablet? No, that's just a flex, okay? Now let's talk about laptops. Do you really need to spend you know, a lot of money into a, a laptop, something like $3,500, $4,000, especially if you get into the MacBook Pro game, right? Do you really need something that powerful? Not really. You don't need it as a developer, okay? You're good to go with a laptop that you can install Linux, you can run it, you could go in and run your applications, and you're good to go. Now, when does a laptop that's that powerful make sense? And it really comes down to if you're using something like machine learning, or you're using some type of compiled language, right? Or compile applications where you might say, you know what, I wanna continue to compile my code constantly, I wanna keep on testing it, right? And then from there, you want to have a, a powerful computer to be able to do that as quick as possible. Or when you're running multiple tests on different type of applications, like that's something that you might say, you know what? I need a powerful computer, right? So it does make sense for the average developer, just learning to code and just getting into the game and even just to do websites, you don't need a super powerful computer. Since we talked about laptops, we should also talk about having a workstation meaning a desktop tower okay should you get a desktop tower should you not get a desktop tower right it all depends on what type of individual you are if you're the type of person that wants to code everywhere they go or bring their work with them whenever they go on vacation or when they're on a coffee shop or something like that hey laptop is the best deal for you but for those of you guys that want to have a dedicated workstation at your home or your office something like a mac pro might be something that you might want to use or even a very good setup for like windows or even linux now do you need to have a crazy 3000 4000 6000 or even a 50000 dollar mac pro right like do you need to go crazy with it no you don't if you're not doing video editing you're not doing audio production right you don't need to have a souped up computer at all right like a windows computer you're good to go with something like a nice workstation let's say 32 gigabytes you know a, a very nice chip on it right you don't need a crazy graphics card we're talking about like 700 to 900 dollars you get yourself a mac pro that's a different ball game you know it's a premium you gotta pay uh, but it's worth it. It's Mac, you know what I mean? Hey, it is what it is. Uh, but Max, you know what I mean? It's going to cost you $2,000, $3,000. But I tell you what, man, I have right here a Mac Pro, a 2012 Mac Pro that I bought, I don't know, like two years ago. I bought it for $1,800 and it's super fast, super reliable. I still use it to this day. I'm planning on getting the new Mac Pro once the new chip gets on it. But it's something that that's worth it to me because I do video editing, I do programming courses at the same time. I'm freaking rendering videos at the same time as I'm compiling code. Like I need something powerful like this, but the majority of you guys don't need something that crazy, right? You don't need to go and spend thousands and thousands of dollars because it's just not needed. Okay. I know it looks cute to be like, well, my 
tower has water cooling and this, this and that, and you know, is filled up with mineral oil and like, that's cool. You can leave that for the gamers, but if you really about your code, right? You don't need that. Don't let nobody come in and show you, hey, this is how I'm flexing and you need to get that. Like you don't need it at all. All right, guys. So now let's talk about a couple of items that I believe you guys should definitely invest on, right? Especially if you're thinking about, hey, what gear should I get? What computer should I get? What laptop? What tablet? What mouse? What keyboard? What this, this and that, right? Like you're focusing on everything that is tech but you're not even focusing on the tools that's going to help you continue being a developer and take care of your health. Right? So this is one of those things, right? And it's really vintage square blue light blocking glasses, anti blu ray computer game. eye glasses, Jesus Christ, SEO to the max. Okay. <laughs> but this are some of the glasses that I wear. Uh, some of you guys have asked me before, like, Joe, what glasses do you wear? What, you know, what glasses are those? Okay. What are those? Right. People be asking me. Okay. And, but this is really to protect my eyes, right? Especially if you have been coding for over, you know, a certain amount of time, like let's say you code for more than five hours a day, right? You want to protect your eyes, man. Your eyes start getting dry. Your eyes start hurting, right? Sometimes they become red, irritated. Okay. This right here really helps out. Don't be surprised by the price. You're like, man, $11, this could change my life. And it's like, yeah, it can, right? Like this is a, a glasses that are very affordable. Any one of you guys can, can get this. And this is just going to help you guys become a developer for the long term, right? You know, somebody that's protecting themselves and protecting their eyes. So you'll be able to, to use your eyes because that's what we use. You get what I'm saying? We, we need these things. Okay. We got to protect them. All right. So definitely go check them out. Another ones that I use is this one. This one comes with like a five package, uh, reading glasses, right? You can choose whichever one you want. I usually use the, the clear ones or the blue ones or the black one. But if you want to be on your sexy, uh, extravagant, you know, <laughs> left field type of dude or home girl, you might want to wear one of these, right? This, <laughs> I'm not wearing those things in public, bro, but you could do it. Okay. So definitely check them out. It's like, what, $14, $15, you know? Again, I'm going to leave a couple of links in the description if you want it. I might get a little something from Amazon, affiliate link, why not? Okay, but you could just go search it and Google it if you don't want to give me anything, any affiliate links, and go ahead, Google that, all right? But another thing is ergonomic chairs, right? There's another one, uh, Ergo Chair Tool. One of my friends has one of these um i'm trying to get in contact with autonomous ai send me a send me a, a a piece man you know i'll do a review on it but i really did like it when i sat down in, in my friend's house uh he really has uh this chair is pretty nice you know and this is something that you're really protecting yourself for the long term you want to have an ergonomic chair right you could buy uh, it doesn't matter what brand it is this is the one that i chose because this one is something that i like um but at the same time i think that you guys can get a good chair for a reasonable price and it will help you out in the long term you know you're sitting down all day you want to take care of your body these are the things that you really want to spend your money on okay this is what's really important another one that we have here is uh, the jarvis standing desk bamboo top i really like this one this one is i actually just ordered it uh recently uh so that's going to be my new desk this is something that is pretty nice. It has the holes for you to, for cable management, right? It's nice bamboo color. Okay. Standing desk buttons, right? What do we call this thing? Right? <laughs> but it is really to protect yourself, right? For those days that you don't want to be sitting down, you want to stand up. You say, you know what? I've been sitting down for six hours. Let me stand up for an hour or two, you know, get my posture up, you know, stretch my legs. Right. These are the things that's really going to help you out in the long term. Now, can they make you a better developer? Yes and no. Right. They're not going to give you superpowers. What they are going to give you is the ability to be able to last longer as a developer. Right. I mean, you know, who wouldn't want to be lasting longer out here? You know what I mean? Like, hey, hey, gotcha. <laughs> Look at you guys, man. What y'all thinking dirty for? But I'm just saying, you want to last longer, you know, as a developer, you want to be out here, you know, standing up. You you want to be out here walking without a limp, 
with our hunchback. You know what I mean? <laughs> the the Google hunchback of Notre Dame and shit. Like, come on, if you wouldn't want to be that guy, then at the end of the day, you want to invest in yourself. This is the things that really matter when it comes down to you. Hey, I want to spend some extra money on something. You know that extra. You know, two terabyte SSD. Like. If you could get that one terabyte, you good. Why are you going to spend some extra bread when you could go and buy something like this that's really going to help you out and, and it's going to help you as a developer, all right? Now, to conclude this video, guys, does it really matter what type of gear you have? Do you need something that's super expensive? Do you need something that is going to cost thousands and thousands of dollars to make you a better developer? No. But again, it also all depends on what is it that you're doing. Again, if you are using something like machine learning, right, you might want to have a super powerful computer to help you build things fast, right? Like that could be something that makes sense. But for the average developer, you don't need something that's crazy like you see online. That's more of a flex. That's more of like, hey, I can do it, it's, but it's really not going to improve you as a developer. What will improve you is actually putting in the time to learn how to code, to actually practice, to actually create applications, challenge yourself every single day and continue to grow as a developer. That's what's going to make you a better developer. The gear is just secondary. The gear is just something that you might use, you might need for certain situations. But again, it doesn't make you a better developer. All right, guys. So anyways, man, if you like this video, guys, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video below. Uh, leave a comment. Show me some love. Put the letter J. If you're watching this, just put the letter J below on the comment section just to show some love. And again, if you want to learn how to code, guys, I'm going to leave some links on the description. Check it out. I'm also going to put it in the comment section so you guys can get a crazy discount if you're looking to learn how to code at codingphase.com. Over 80 courses for one single price. So go check it out. It's a great website. All right, guys. So take care, man. Peace.